This video is sponsored by Recharge. Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, we're doing the 120 kilometers an hour or 75 miles per hour range test in this, the Hyundai Ioniq 6 long range all wheel drive on 18 inch wheels. So today we're gonna see just how far this car can go on a full charge of battery. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna come back to these chargers. So we're gonna connect and see what kind of charge speed we actually get after a few hours on the road with only passive heating. That's correct, guys. We're not gonna do any active preheating. This car does have built-in active preheating. If you navigate to a charger, we're not gonna do that in today's video because we do that in a different video here on the channel. So today is all about, about maximum range and what kind of speed you actually get after passive heating. What a beautiful day to do this range test, guys. I'm so happy that, well, it's basically spring or almost summer now here in southern eastern Norway. So we've been on the road for about 15, 16, 17 minutes, and we're now heading northward. We have a headwind of about two meters per second, according to the wind map. And you can kind of hear that from the windscreen. You can also see the wind socket here. Once we are passing and crossing the Minnesimbrua, we can take a left, uh, take a look at their left here to see the, the lake. There are a little bit of small waves, but nothing too much. So consumption thus far is 18.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And we cover 29.6 kilometers uh, up just about so I mean consumption pretty darn low 18.7 not too bad hopefully it's gonna stay that once we you know start moving northward but because of that headwind we may actually have lower consumption on our way back so that's gonna be very interesting to see because yeah around 18.5 19 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers on our way north maybe that's gonna drop to like 17 or 18 on our way back. That would be very interesting because like if we do the calculations now, which we're not, that gives this car pretty, pretty amazing range. But well, this car should have really good range. We're running in eco mode, so the best possible conditions for that. So yeah, we're just gonna head northward guys and I'll see you once we get to our turnaround point in Muel. We are now approaching our turnaround point here in Muelv and the consumption looks to have stabilized at around, well, 18.8, 18.9. It hasn't gone much higher than that. So that is really, really promising. So it's gonna be interesting once we head back towards Oslo. Once we turn around and then we take advantage of that headwind in the opposite direction, which would be a tailwind. So it's gonna be really, really interesting to see already consumption, you know, and exiting is down to 18.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And guys, look at this beautiful, beautiful day. What a day, 17 degrees Celsius outside, sunny weather, clear skies, yeah is really nice to do a test in conditions like this. So we're now entering the on-ramp here to the southbound motorway on the E6. So we're gonna continue on now. And this car just keeps beeping at everything. It's so annoying, so many beeps with this car. If you drive a Hyundai Ioniq 5 or 6 on this platform, let me know because this, what's going on? It's just beeping and beeping and beeping. Everything is just beeping really really annoying let me know down below if you're also bothered by all of these beeping <laughs> i don't think i've seen a single cloud on the sky all day oh me maybe, maybe over there is a small one but okay except for that <laughs> but this is our exit exit 51 we are now back to the charger so we're gonna go right up here and then we're gonna connect and see what kind of charging speed we get and also calculate our range today. But before we do that, let's take a look at the consumption. 18.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That is what we are talking about. Wow, that is pretty darn good. So we're gonna connect to this 225 kilowatt recharge charger and see what kind of speed we get after a few hours on the road. So let's go ahead and connect to this charger. And as you guys saw in the intro, this video is sponsored by Recharge, who is the largest independent charge point operator in the Nordic countries. Yeah, I chose the one on the right, but that's fine, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna do that one. But yeah, as I was saying, they're the largest independent charge point operators in the Nordic countries with 4,000 charge points across Norway, Sweden, and Finland. So if you wanna check them out, there will be a link in the description box down below. And yeah, if you wanna support the channel, just check out where your closest recharge charger is. They've been updating a lot of charging stations recently. So, so yeah, but okay, let's go ahead and check out the 
yeah, the speed we're gonna get here. We connected 51%, amazing guys. We started with 100, so we only used like 49% to do this test, which is pretty, pretty amazing. And yeah, this weather, really nice. Only a few weeks ago, we had a lot of snow and ice, and then suddenly we have weather like this. Okay, we are now getting some speed here. 87, 95, 103. You know, according to the charge curve, we're not gonna get close to that peak of 239 that this car can achieve, but 123 point, what? 122.6, getting almost 800 volts, 737 volts, 166 amps. Yeah, we're limit limited by the, uh, the, the uh, you know, state of charge here now at 52%. Okay, somebody told me if I do my chip again here, I can get that, yeah. So if you do your chip uh, or your RFID card, you can get this information back up again. That is pretty nice. So thank you for the tip, some commenter in some video. Uh, thanks, that, that's really helpful. But okay, 108 kilowatts, not too bad, but yeah, expect it at this state of charge with this battery temperature. Before we end today's video, let's take a look at the battery pack size, the consumption, and then calculate theoretical range. So this Ionic 6 long range all wheel drive has a usable battery that is 74 kilowatt hours. We take that number divided by the consumption, 18.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. We get a theoretical range under today's conditions of 394 kilometers, which is pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty good amongst the best we have achieved here in this test. I mean, it's, it's pretty good, especially for being a car with all wheel drive. And if we look at the Ionic 5, yes, that test was done in much colder and worse conditions. Not that long ago, actually. You can see that that car has 100 kilometers of less range. And also, there's an error there. I'm gonna hopefully fix it now. <laughs> where I also used the correct battery pack size. It's a little bit confusing because Hyundai don't actually give the information in usable capacity, only the gross capacity, and I did an error there. I thought that was 77.4 kilowatt hours, but that's the gross capacity of the new battery pack, which has a 74 kilowatt hour usable capacity. But yeah, looking at that, that car, the Ionic 5, if you did that with today's conditions, I think this car still would have gotten like 50 or 60 kilometers more range. So if you're looking for the most efficient eGMP car, that's the EV6, that's the GV80, that's the Ionic 5, and this Ionic 6, I think this is the car to go for. Pretty impressive, and I can't wait to do more testing on this car in the week to come. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below, and for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later, and goodbye.